Hello everyone and welcome back to the mime with her arms folded foot tapping. <laughs> when we last left off in the Guild of Dungeoneering, we had cleared out another dungeon in the Mountains of Numb with Sally the Ice Cream Monk. But let us expand the guild with the money that we have got from such an adventure. I'm thinking that we should get the Leather Worker next because there are some items later on from the Leather Worker that we would like. So let's purchase the Leather Worker and build the Leather Worker over here somewhere. I'm thinking over here would make sense. Yes. Excellent. We now have a level worker next to the curiosity shop and the, uh, I think this was the bar or something, wasn't it? What was it? The woodworker. Okay. Well, that's all good. We should also go get ourselves a cat burglar hidden den because we need two tier one um, items to get anything from over here. So we might as well just grab the hidden den now. We're never going to use the cat burglar anyway, but let's do it for fun, shall we? and get the hidden den next to the theater. Up until now, we've all had some fun. And you could say you've come very far, Mark. But brace yourself for some woeful cat puns. Now that we have a cat burglar. I think we could to call him Panther. There we are. The Panther didn't quite fit, but the pa Panther works. I promise revenge! We might just use Panther just to show how awful he is one, one time. Uh, but we also got the level worker as well. So I, my next purchase will be the, the campsite here, which will unlock the Barbarian. Because we're actually going to get some decent other classes from the Mountains of Numb as well. So let's continue. And let's go exploring. We got one more adventure up here, Lair of the Vegan. But I don't, know, I don't think the Panther's quite suitable for this, this task. Um... Let's just do it, just to run it down, eh? Let's go, Panther. Dungeoneers. Cannon fodder. <laughs> Same thing. Alright. Okay, that does it! I don't usually hurt beautiful creatures this land, but in your case, I'll make an exception. As soon as I finish my home paid power bars, you are toast! Okay. So we have to defeat Gary, the Ark Vegan, and he attacks in nine turns. He has Monk 3, Snowman 4, Feral 5, Stupidity 3, and Alpine 5. Look forward to that Avalanche card. We also have a formidable Snowman over here as sort of a minion guarding a mega chest. Oh, perfect. They've left me here. Let's go deal with Yakity Yak, shall we? Put a Yakity Yak on both sides. And we'll place a corridor over here. Another per... Uh, another appalling Yakity Yak. Let's go, Panther. He's got the Covetous trait, which gives him plus one loot choice slot. And immediately get the Bite. Let us use Catnip. And gain one additional physical damage for future turns. Let's use Catnip again. Okay, and we'll use Throw Cat right now. Throw a Cat. Got him. Thin air, eh? Oh, I'm gonna throw a cat at you. <laughs> Got him! You know, if it wasn't for hugging a bottle, it would already be dead. <laughs> well, the troll fin might not be the worst call, but the wooden stool. Ah, uh, the pigeon nest. Or the woolly cat. Troll Fiender seems the way to go. I honestly don't think he'll make it. <laughs> uh, let's let's go for it. See if you can handle the. Uh... Actually, let's do a slushy elemental. See if you can handle a slushy elemental. Put some tile pieces down. This is going to be a catastrophe. Let's go for it, Panther. Defeat the slushy elemental. He is frail, which uh, will help us out a bit. Let's catnip it up. Alright. Let's bash. Let's throw it, cat. And finally, let's scratch. Because it's a quick card. It likes you to defeat it because of the frail trait. We got rid of a slushy elemental. So we got frozen peas for growth 3. Stupidity, we got armor 2 from the new uh, uh, woodworker, gives us the skull cap. We also got the hook, which gives us shift and slice. 
I'm gonna go for the frozen peas because having that refresh card may just save our lives. We also have another rune, which will help too. Mm, much, much, much. Mm. Now, unlike other bosses, the Arc Vegan here does not gain more powerful as we, uh, wait. So we, I suppose maybe he does, maybe he'll lose his stupidity card. Uh, that's always a possibility. I think we should attack the formidable snowman, though. We're not really ready for him, but we'll do it anyway. We'll attack another slushy elemental in the meantime to get some more loot as we gear up to handle the formidable snowman. Are you kidding me? Yes, we are. Go, Cat Burglar! Defeat the slushy elemental! Well, he's going to freeze our hands. Let's just boost our next physical damage. Uh, I guess we're playing this card now. It's not a good idea to play it now, but we are. With because of our frozen hand. The wave card. Well, it's slam. What's his next card? A splash. The splash is going to kill us. But we could use this restore card now in order to save our lives. And the recycle is honestly going to help us get closer to the refresh card. Uh, we need to enkindle now to not die. And we'll actually finish off the slushy elemental. So we got frozen peas for our head, which is already equipped. We got the yellow snow cannon, which will give us growth four. We'll get the, the cooking pot and the stalactite. We're going to go for the yellow snow cone. Go on, have a lick. It will give us uh, growth four, which gives us even more healing. And a stupidity two card. Turn on to stack our stupidity as well. Chew, chew much. That's the stuff, he says. Um, let's put this here. We'll put a respectable snowman there. And as long as we can survive, we've got a, a route towards Gary the Arc Vegan. Mmm, delicious. The formidable snowman. We're not ready for you. Well, you're not going to do anything right now anyway. So let's just play stupidity get it out of our starting hand. Uh, and I think the same thing applies again. We've got this out of our hands, so now we can just start being legit and have good cards coming in. Thump to start you off. Let's catnip. We're going to keep that refresh in our hand for as long as we can. Now we'll bash to block this initially, this initial hit. Thump. If successful, you'll kill, uh, confuse us, but that's okay. You're welcome to confuse me. Let's throw the cat. Throw a cat at the cat burglar. Okay, now we'll use this card here. Refresh. Which sets our health to six before his attack. We've now got a pummel, another burly two, pummel three. Uh, so still in trouble. But we'll use the throw cat effect here now. Maybe we'll draw rejuvenate. We haven't drawn rejuvenate, so let's just draw a card. There's rejuvenate. This will help. That's more like it. <laughs> One more damage we need, and we got it with the with the with the the scratch. Yes, scratch him. Got him. The formidable snowman is down, and he gives us many many things of loot. So we get the spiky trait, but we lose growth four for this. Uh, Masquerade mask. It's a good item, but we don't want it with this current build. The warhorn will make us lose plus one health and one stupidity in exchange we get a holy seal and a fire blast and this will make us lose rejuvenate but I think losing a stupidity is not a bad idea yes yes I'm gonna go for that trade what about in the mega chest though we've got red mail which will just straight up give us extra health and a repel we got the arcane helmet two holy uh, bone helmet we don't want that a blade two simple effective boring and the bone arm, which gives us arcane and one and plus one health. I think I'm going to go for the red mail. I suppose it's the choice of do we want the, the draw power or do we want the armor card? Because we don't have much in the way of defense at all, and we do need it versus his feral attacks here. He's going to attack at five turns, but we are making our way towards the foe. Now we can now actually start getting formidable snowman as regular enemies, but they suck, honestly. Like, both the Formidable Snowman is Burly 2, and Gelata Cube is Demonic 2. These are Tier 2 are tier two enemy sets, right? Uh, also, I'm going to laugh if I actually manage to finish this, <laughs> despite how much I've been, you know, trashing on the Cat Burglar, and then yet every single mime has gone forth and died. So, uh, don't trust my opinion, I guess. 
<laughs> straighten up, eh? Well, I'm gonna give you straightening up. Um, just gonna bash it, I guess. Glacier. Well, the glacier is not gonna be successful. We'll block it. I'd rather have the choice, the options. We're gonna fire blast you. Good. Okay, we can block this thin air with Holy Seal. Excellent. Boulder, let's throw a cat. Meow. <laughs> it wasn't a very fierce cat, but a cat was thrown. And we'll restore here for two additional health. Excellent. Thump. Well, we can be stupid here. Oh, the thump. Okay, you're gonna stomp, which means this slam will finish you off. There we are, solid fight against the respectable snowman. We get one more chance for loot here. We get the fur coat, which is armor 2, but is face curse. Um, so in other words, it's just armor 2. Okay. Daisy chain, we'll lose our um, rejuvenate there. None of these are an improvement. I'm pretty sure none of these are improvement. Yeah. Uh, the ski pole, yeah, none of these are improvement. Let's just take some gold. These really take a lot of chewing. Sorry, it's the wrong voice. These really take a lot of chewing. There we are, there we are. We might as well put a dishonorable snowman in there. Gold pouch. Forward to shiny loot. <laughs> Everyone's voice has been changing continually. <laughs> All right, it's gonna throw a hand out, so let's just catnip anyway. All right, he's gonna glacier me. So in other words, we're gonna be frozen. So let's just uh, rejuvenate. Healing up three from that moment. Yoink. He is going to steal cards from us unless we can stop him. Uh, they'll draw a card. Fire Blast saves us from losing cards. Pickpocket four there. Uh, we can block this thin air with the bash card. And then the thwomp. The thwomp is will hurt. But we're going to use throw cat next turn or slam. We'll use this card here. There we are. Slam will finish him off. Dishonorable you were, you maybe burn a favour. But nevertheless we got through it. The snowman head it will give us armour too, but we're losing our growth. And we've been doing really well with growth. Uh, snowballs gives me the ranged trait. Not bad, but I don't want to lose growth 4 for it. This uh, is not a good trait either. Let's take gold. I'm pretty happy with my loadout. Like, the only way I do change is if I still get growth of my new weapon, and I lose the stupidity with it. I don't think that's going to happen. We could get a commendable snowman. Let's do that. That looks perfect! Let's take you on, commendable snowman. Respect. It's not going to prevent me from doing damage next turn, so we're going to throw a cat at him now. Meow. There we go, it's so catted. And we'll just throw a stupidity card out. We can't do damage anyway. And here we'll catnip. Soaring damage for future turns will repel this icy nonsense. Here's the avalanche, which is a lot of damage. It is a lot of damage, really. We'll have to throw a cat, but it is a lot of damage. We may have to start drawing into our rejuvenation. But we have a kindle here, which helps. We'll use it now. The music's getting excited, but I'm gonna die unless I draw a good card here. Uh, Holy Seal will keep me alive. Yes. It'll block... No, it won't. Hang on. It blocks two damage and I have three health. Effectively gives me four health. I will survive if I Holy Seal. Yep. Uh, problem is, though, I'm still gonna die unless this saves me. And it's not going to. The Cat Burglar did eventually perish. But he went a lot further than anyone expected, including me. <laughs> Once again they tried in vain to overcome and not be slain, but overrun and very scared. Our heroes fell in battle. Indeed. <laughs> he almost got to the Ark Vegan. But don't you worry, the next Dungeoneer will certainly get there. We'll probably send out a mime to die. I think that's a good plan. <laughs> when we come back next time, more Guild of Dungeoneering. Oh, yes.